hello guys welcome back once again to this youtube channel you know when we feel the know that tinibu deceived them with muslim muslim ticket a lot of them you know think we are jealous or probably we are we don't know what we are saying and now just a year or one year plus after his presidency he has actually shown the north that the north we are deceived by his muslim muslim ticket i told you people now look at what is actually happening as of today balame tinibu went and signed a deal that will legalize the uh, rainbow people you, uh, I believe you understand uh, the people I mean by the rainbow people in the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which is against our culture and against our tradition. You know, when this particular bill first came out, and when the rumors started spreading about uh, Balami and Tinibu signing this deal, many people said, Tinibu will not sign this deal. Some of the Northerners, we are backing Balami and Tinibu, that he's not going to do it, that Balami and Tinibu is a core Muslim, Shetima is a core Muslim, that he's not going to you know, uh, do it, that we, he, this is against Islam and all that. And I, I was laughing at them. I told them, you don't know the, uh, people you voted for, you don't know who Balami and Tinibu is. He's a desperate man. I can boldly tell you for free, a man who was boasting and you know, going around telling that it was his turn. He never proposed anything to you. He never told you what he was not going to sign and how, how he was going to stick to the principles and cultures of the land. No, he was going to you know, become a puppet in the hands of these Western countries. And this is what Balami Tenebu is actually doing. Let me show you the news. You know, a lot of people might not even understand what we are saying. But look at actually the news that is actually coming up. And the Northerners now have started to confess and even ask for forgiveness. Because we told them that Balami Tinibu went to the north and played the religious card and came to the south and played the tribal card, but many people never believed us. As you can see on the screen, this is the exact news that is causing this uh, uproar and brouhaha. They said that Nigerian government, you know, signs ten billion naira Samoa deal to legitimize LGBT in in in, in, in Nigeria particularly, you know, and a lot of Muslims never believed it. Let me show you some of the reactions from these Muslim people that voted for Balami Tinibu, and you know, those that were deceived. I will not even say that they voted; those that were deceived to vote for him. You know, because they, most of them think uh, Muslim Muslim ticket will foster uh, the, the, the core beliefs of uh, Muslims and uh, Islam in Nigeria. They don't know that these politicians are criminals, criminals, and they are after their own personal uh, selfish interests. Look at what some of the Northerners who you know who, who are shocked of uh, who are shocked about what Balam and Tinibu did by signing the bill. This was said to my fellow Muslims, those who are deceived to vote for the Muslim Muslim ticket, thinking that Tinibu and Shetima will emulate Islamic style of leadership. Look at where we are today. We will now sit back, finger crossed, and watch whether the clerics that promoted Muslim Muslim ticket will come out and condemn Tinibu or not. Elections have consequences. Remember, there was nothing APC didn't do to 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 demonize Peter B. They were the ones that think that Peter B was going from church to church and using uh, the religious card to campaign. But meanwhile, it was Tinibu that was doing it boldly and publicly. He was the one that went to the north and said uh, and chose Muslim Muslim tickets. So, majority of northern East uh, clerics endorsed Bola Metinibu and Shitima's candidacy because of what? Because they chose the Muslim Muslim ticket and they kept on, you know, distracting and deceiving the northerners that like P2B was the one running on 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 on, on a religious card. But P2B kept on telling people, don't vote for me because I'm this, I'm that, I'm not that. Vote for me because of my competent character and compassion. You know, and now they have started to confess and tell them, and, and they've started to call out their uh, uh, Islamic uh, uh, leaders that deceive them to you know, vote for Balami and Tinibu. This other person says something that is very interesting. This person said, we will, we, we will now sit back, fingers crossed, and watch whether the clerics uh, who promoted the Muslim Muslim ticket will come out and condemn it. The same thing the other person is saying. This other person says something very funny. This person said, Good Lord, Jonathan signed anti gay and any anti-gay and any lgbt stuff due into law in 2014 and the u.s and other western countries criticize him but he didn't back down and today we are seeing the president who became president only through the influence of islam trying to legitimize this lgbt can in nigeria and all that you know and i laugh at them when they start making these utterances and comments we want them it's not like they were not warned it's not like they were not told it's not that we are not sensitized a lot of obedience went to rural areas to tell them, look at Balami and Tinibu's plan. This man has no single plan for Nigeria. He is only coming there to you know, fulfill his lifetime ambition to become the president. And a lot of them gave us their fears. A lot of them say, eh, Peter Obi will not vote for an Igbo man. An Igbo man cannot be the president. Now, everything we told them has, has happened. The economy has crashed. And um, even some of them that voted for him are the one planning to protest. They are calling, they are calling Balami and Tinibu out and telling him that he's a failure. And now, Peter Obi told them before election, that there's no place a Muslim or any that is there any place that a Christian buys bread, bread cheaper. There's no place all these things happen. This other person said something said, as you can see on the screen, this person said a Christian president didn't attempt to legalize this uh, LGBT stuff in Nigeria, but now a Muslim president and vice president are trying to do so. The Muslims are already crying out, and they've seen that this Balam and Tinibu does not even care about them. He does not even care about any Islamic value or anything. He's more interested in his own selfish interests and selfish desires. 
which is basically the truth. Well, uh, another uh, developing story, you know, uh, there have been this hashtag of trending uh, news about uh, Tinubu must go protest. You know, a lot of people have been staging that uh, they, that the must carry out this Tinubu must go uh, protest in order to end bad governance in twenty twenty in Nigeria in twenty twenty four. And I, I keep on laughing at them. And this bad uh, and this protest wants to emanate from the northern part of the country. And I keep on laughing at them. You know, you can't protest now when you people we are the ones that actually voted or allowed him to use INEC to you know uh, rig himself into the seat of the presidency. You cannot remove Balame Tinibu now. The only way you can remove Balame Tinibu is to impeach him, which is practically impossible because he used a rubber stamped Senate led by uh, uh, Augustine Lapabio to, you know, uh, to, to, to head over the affairs of the Senate. So who is going to impeach him? And this is a democratic dispensation or this is a democratic government. You can't just go there and remove the, pre the president. No, you must follow uh, the, demo the, the uh, democratic processes or principles, which is through election or, or impeachment. And we know that impeachment is not possible. So people must wait till 2027. People must wait till 2027 before they can, you know, take out their grievances. You know, I love how things are playing out in Nigeria. So in 2027, when someone brings a cup of gari for you to sell your vote, you will not sell your vote because you know that that cup of gari will, will not even sustain you for the four or eight years that this person is going to, you know, uh, bring hardship upon you. So this 2023 election is actually teaching people a lot of lessons, especially some people in the northern part of the country that allow themselves to be deceived by this gullible government led by Bola. I mean, Tinibu. I can boldly and literally tell you, you know, P2B is, not, is, is no longer, you know, uh, telling people this and that because he said everything needed to be said before the 2023 presidential election. He said it and warned people severely, don't fall for the trips or the tricks of this particular government led by Bonami and Tinibu that they don't have any single thing to give to Nigerians or offer. But many people did not listen to what uh, P2B said and they are giving ears to what uh, APC was uh, uh, telling them, telling them P2B was this, P2B is an evil man, he will say the country this and that. These we are blind up lies they told in order to demonize P2B. Now look at where the country you know, is being uh, 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 put into economic hardship and now the federal government is now signing deals left, right and center that will actually go against our core values and our, uh, uh, against our core religious and uh, cultural values in the country because they are desperate. It's not like this loan or money or deal they are collecting. You are going to put it into proper use. No, this is the money they will still embezzle. Well, that's that for that, honestly speaking with you. Well, on another developing story, you know, today there is a recent upturn of events in the crisis that is actually happening in River State. And remember, the, uh, about 24 lawmakers in River State were actually sacked after they defected from the People's Democratic Party to APC in order to support Mike. If you remember, and uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, where the Speaker of the House of Assembly then being uh, uh, Ame Wule, you know, was sacked with other 24 other people. And today, you know, an, uh, an appeal court in, in uh, uh, Abuja has actually quashed the order, barring this Ame Wule and 24 others from parading themselves as lawmakers, meaning they can return back to the House of Assembly in River State. And this is going to, you know, cause a lot of uh, fight and a lot of troubles in, in River House of Assembly because now they will have the majority. Remember, when they defected to APC, the court, you know, declare that their seats are vacant, which is what the constitution said. But we, we, we know we live in a country like Nigeria where everything goes and all others goes. People no longer have you know, respect for the court. Is Our court has been turned into, our judiciary has been turned into cash and carry. Whoever brings the highest price or probably money would actually take the a favorable judgment home. And this is what is happening. How can our courts be giving conflicting judgment here, left, right, and center, and without any concrete constitutional uh, backup to you know, back up their uh, to support their claim and their judgment. Look at what, in proper context, look at what uh, uh, this news is all about. They said that the court of appeal, and Fubra must actually be careful because this is a new war that has actually been done in the United States. They, they said that the court of appeal, Abuja, has nullifi nullified the expulsion of Muffin, Amwewili, and 24 others from the Rivers House, River State House of Assembly by the River State High Court. They said, as you can see on the screen, they said that a three-member panel of the appellate court heard that the lower court lacked the jurisdiction to grant the expert order, expert order. The court held that section 2723 of the constitution gives the federal high court powers to determine whether the seat of a House of Assembly member has become vacant. It held that the federal high court has the exclusive jurisdiction to determine if the seats have become vacant. So these people are saying that uh, it's only them that have the jurisdiction, that the court in River State does not have the jurisdiction to declare that the seats of these people are vacant. He said, according to court, according to the court, the express mention of the federal high court in section 2723 of the constitution automatically excludes all state high courts from having the jurisdiction. The appellate court, however, the ex party order having been made without jurisdiction is null and void. You could imagine how this our constitution and, how, and now our law or courts are actually being you know uh, bastardized and you know uh, 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 radicalized 
and judgments are flying in left, right, and center. Well, a single advice to Governor Fubara is that he should stand with the people of River State and you know gather himself and protect himself with the people of the river of River State because they were the ones that voted for him. And he shouldn't, you know, uh, cow and allow you know, Wiki and AP Sambola to able to intimidate him and take over the resources of River State and River State entirely. Well, I'll keep you guys posted. I would like you guys to drop a comment, share the video, and tell me what you think about this recent political happenings and issues in the country.